What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. So it's been a while since we heard from Shatoshi Kasuma, and we finally get a Twitter update. So first things first, hit that like button, and if you aren't a part of the fam, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future updates like this. Also, if you are new to investing, check the links in the description section. I got free resources, stocks, crypto. Uh, my book is down there as well if y'all want to check that out, but I definitely recommend y'all checking those links in the description section. So let's get into this. We got an update from Shatoshi. Now, someone made an uh, interesting question, or they pondered on something very interesting that made me want to really share this with y'all you know outside of this update so we're going to take a look at that person's comment as well but shatoshi says anyone have a contact at hotbit i like to have a conversation with the good folks there before they take a bow so if you aren't familiar with the hotbit situation they are a crypto exchange that just recently shut their operations down due to uh different reasons we got an article pulled up we'll get into those exact uh details of that as well so uh stay tuned but also I see something very interesting, you know, just off the top me thinking, why is Shatoshi interested in speaking with someone at Hotbit as they're, you know, shutting down before you know, and telling them, you know, before they actually take about. So, you know, connecting some dots, it made me think that Shatoshi is obviously interested in possibly trying to save the company. Think about when companies like uh, Voyager went bankrupt. We had companies like FTX step in to try to save those companies. Now, Shatoshi is appearing to, uh, not saying that's what's happening. Remember, this is not financial advice, entertainment, education purposes only. But, it, you know, if we have to think about it, that's the closest I can get to thinking, you know, Shatoshi might have uh, some solution to them having to shut down their operation. So, uh, someone going through these comments, someone made a very, very interesting, you know, uh, statement or uh, question here. I want to share this with y'all. So, Shout out to M. Leonard. He said, I was thinking about the next logical step to having our own L2 blockchain. Think about that. Shibirium. Our own cold wallet. Remember, the team just announced a partnership with the uh, new credit debit card, credit card uh, size cold wallets. A stable coin, which is, uh, you know, coming to the Shiba Inu ecosystem. I believe that's going to be she. And the next evolution would be our own crypto exchange. Bullish. So think about that. If Shatoshi or, you know, uh, Shatoshi on behalf of the Sheev army invested into Hobbit to keep them afloat. That could be, you know, very, very interesting for Shiba Inu's future. So, you know, definitely uh, I'm waiting to hear more on that. Just want to, you know, put that on your radar and, uh, you know, just make y'all aware. But we got this article here going into you know some of the things that happened with hotbit and why they had to shut down so hotbit shuts down citing investigations industries and risks and this is risk and exploits this is why i always try to tell y'all too once you get to a certain point even in the beginning stages you should always try to you know hold your crypto on your own cold storage device you can have it on exchanges but it should only be an amount that you you know you're under you're understanding that you know if that exchange does shut down you're losing those funds so you got to understand the risk that comes with using some of these these uh these exchanges these uh especially uh centralized exchanges now de decentralized exchanges where you can hold your tokens in your own wallet like a, a trust wallet metamask things like that those are fine but you want to also have a uh, uh, ledger that's what I recommend it's not financial advice you can look through different cold wallet options and see what's best for you but let's get into this article Hotbit has become the latest crypto exchange to cease operations following a harsh crypto winter remember this has been a domino effect from uh, three arrows capital Voyager uh, Silicon Valley Bank uh, Signature Bank you know all these different uh, uh, Luna all these different uh, you know projects collapsing you know all back to back is just taking time for each one of these pro uh, these exchanges to basically go down. Now I'm not saying every single exchange is gonna, is gonna go down, but I would not trust them if I were y'all. So just keep that in mind. But Hotbit has become the latest crypto exchange to cease operations following a harsh crypto winners. Hotbit, a minor cryptocurrency exchange, said on May 21st that it will cease operations as it is experienced increasing challenges within the crypto industry. Several factors led to closure. Hobbit cited several reasons to, for a shutdown. For it said that it was forced to suspend operations during August 2022 investigation. The exchange said that it was subsequently affected by November's FTX collapse and USDC DPEG in March. The FTX collapse led to an extended crypto market crash on November 11, 2022, while the USDC DPEG on March 11, 2023 was quickly resolved and was immediately followed by a stronger crypto market. 
Hobbit nevertheless said that it saw a continuous outflow of funds and deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorating my bad y'all cash flow following those incidents. Hobbit also said the regulations are forcing exchanges to comply with cumbersome rules or become more decentralized. It said both stages come with difficulties. Hobbit added that it was the first to list certain emerging assets and after stacking, let me zoom in on this y'all. So Hobbit added that it was the first to list certain emerging assets and offer staking and DeFi services on certain tokens. It said that attacks against Hobbit and vulnerable projects caused losses and said that its strategy is not feasible in terms of risk. Users can still withdraw funds. Hobbit halted trading on May 22nd, just one day after its announcement. Users will be able to withdraw the cryptocurrency in the coming weeks. The exchange specifically instructed users to withdraw their balance before June 21st. Unlike other exchanges and services that have shut down in recent months, it does not appear that Hobbit has completely disabled users' withdrawals. However, it appears that law enforcement have frozen some or all of Hobbit's assets and that certain assets called DF assets cannot be withdrawn from the platform. As such, the true extent to which Hobbit users can withdraw their holdings is unclear. Hobbit has restricted comments on its Twitter profile, only allowing mentioned users to reply seeming in anticipation of backlash or hostility from its user base. The exchange said that it accumulated 5 million users over its past 5 years of operation. So look at that, an exchange that has been around for 5 years you know is still able to go under by you know this this collapse that we're seeing you know triggered by you know ftx or whoever you know started it so you know this is why you want to have custody remember if it's not your keys it's not your crypto that simply means if you don't own the seed phrase to that wallet that is not your crypto if you're only typing in a password to get in then most likely that's a centralized exchange and it is not your crypto. You wanna have your own key phrase or C phrase, so keep that in mind. But let's take a look at the overall market for the day. I am bullish though on Shiba Inu right now, especially you know with Shatoshi waking up on Twitter and you know giving uh you know a hint at possibly collaborating with Hotbit. You know, what else can we assume? Drop in the comment section, let me know what y'all think Shatoshi would be interested in speaking with them about. So Overall crypto market cap at 1.13 trillion, down 0.6 percent. Bitcoin at 26,885. Ethereum at 1867. BNB at 305. XRP at 50 cent. Cardano at 36 cent. Doge at seven. Matic at 89. Solana at 2055. Litecoin at 94.41. Tron at seven cent. Dot 522. And Shiba Inu at 8476, down 0.2 percent. In the last day really right now shiba inu is just doing a lot of consolidate right now just trading sideways so usually what that means is the market is in agreement with where the price is for now but as you know we get positive catalysts coming in shiba inu eventually can you know break out of this consolidation we're seeing and you know really begin to take off and look at looking at the chart right here you can see those uh that major resistance point of course we got one at we got one right here at that uh, A5 level, but I'm looking at Shiba Inu. Uh, I'm looking at Shiba Inu. This is a, what, what chart are we on? Okay, so one day, I'm looking at Shiba Inu uh, easily going right back up to uh, basically yesterday's prices. is down about 0.2%, so that's probably where, about where it was at yesterday. So uh, I wouldn't panic. You can see we're holding a support right here. We did get that article coming out yesterday that saying Shiba Inu was going to possibly drop down to that seven, uh, five, seven, five, five level. Not sure exactly, but basically down to that 700 points per coin level. Now, uh, in that video, I did state that, you know, I would just be patient right now and just kind of sit on my hands and let the market kind of fizzle out and do what it's going to do. And then, you know, once we see some clear direction, possibly step in. But don't let that affect your dollar cost average situations, because if you're somebody who's continuously dollar cost averaging on schedule and your Shiba Inu bag is not where you want it to be, then do not let that, uh, you know, interrupt you because we don't know exactly how low the bottom is. Now, people can speculate that the price will pull back further, but if it doesn't, and you know you miss out on that buying opportunity the price shoots up you may wish that you would have bought more while the prices were at these levels so just keep that in mind but that's all we got for this video 
I got right now three of my courses bundled together my stock options trading course my crypto 101 course and my technical analysis course if you're interested in getting any of those or you know separately or bundled together reach out to me via email December DeMarco at gmail.com also you can pre-order my meme coin course it is in production right now December DeMarco at gmail.com let me know in the subject line which one you're interested in also follow me on all platforms at December DeMarco appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out